Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorials. Today I will explain you HTML heading stack. So there are six type of headings H1 to H6. So these headings are very important for your document. I will also tell you about HR tag. We will see HTML head element, HTML title element and some tips I will give you at the end of this tutorial. So let's start. So we'll see HTML headings first. As I already told in my previous tutorials and I have shown you about the H1 tag. Okay, so inside your body you can write these headings. Okay, so there are six type of headings. H1, H2, H3 and like that till H6. H1 is the most important heading and H6 is your least important. That means if you want to highlight anything which is very very important in your document then use H1 tag. And some headings which are not very important but least important. There you can use H6. The same way, say if you categorize H1 is your priority 1, H2 I'll say P2, H3 P3, H4 P4, H5 P5, H6 is your P6. Okay. So, whichever is very important, you use the H1 tag. And some headings which are not important like P1, there you can use H2. And lesser than H2, your H3 then H4 and so on is your least important tag is your H6. So, depends on your requirement of the document, you can use this headings tag. But remember, never use these heading tags to make your text big or bold. Okay, so these tags are used only if anything is most important till less least important. We are not using these tags for to make our text big or bold. Okay. So when we use these headings, what search engine will do? It is easy for the search engine to index the structure and content of our web page. That means what our web page has from these headings search engine can know and it will index it. That's why it is very important to use these heading tags. So that the search engine will know the structure of our document. Say I have a document. Where I want to tell something about TV. Okay. So, in TV, say this TV is my H1 which is very important and the main heading of my document. After TV, I want to tell about say 
channel then subscription and last so just example i am taking i am not taking in detail say shut down your tv which is automatic okay so this is my very important where i want to tell about tv that is my there i am using my h1 tag and this is say it's not important like h1 so i am using h2 for this i am using h3 and say for this i am using h6 so there are many and after that i am using h6 okay so as per your requirement you can use the headings in your document but these are very important don't forget to use it now we'll see the hr tag that means horizontal rules h means horizontal r means rules if you want to give a line in your document then there you have to use hr tag okay so let's take one small example say i have three p tags say i have this paragraph 1 where after this i need one horizontal line i have paragraph 2 and after paragraph 2 i need one more horizontal line and then paragraph 3 and at the end of the document also i need one horizontal line so what i have done that wherever i have uh, i need one horizontal line there i have used this hr tag after paragraph 1 i have used after paragraph 2 also i have used okay if you need after paragraph 3 then use one more hr tag okay so your output will come like this paragraph 1 then this is your horizontal rule because you have used hr tag here then paragraph 2 one more horizontal rule paragraph 3 and the last horizontal rule so wherever you need one horizontal rule you can use hr tag okay so some tags need to close also as i have told in my introduction tutorial that html tags have one start point and one end point entrance point and exit point okay but there are few tags where which stands both for start and end you need not write again say hr slash hr this hr only is start and end but to increase the readability and write a good program you can still use it okay but this is now optional so now we know about html headings don't get confused html headings with html head so your html document starts with a head tag which is not equal to your heading tag remember this these both are different head and h1 h1 is heading and this is only head your head part of your document okay this head element contains metadata so to know about more about metadata you can watch my tutorial about metadata i am not telling in detail here i'll just give a brief idea that metadata does not display in your output 
okay metadata does not display in your output but when you use this metadata your browser will come to know about the content of your page and if you want to increase the traffic in your web page then from your met information from the metadata browser will know the information okay so these metadata is the data about data so these metadata gives data about your document what your document has about that data it it gives sorry it gives more information so these metadata are used in the head tag okay so between your html and body tag you have to use this metadata so this is your html tag and this is your body tag in between that your head tag is coming and there you can use your metadata it can be anything your copyright author name anything can be your metadata okay now comes the title element inside your head tag we are giving the title say i have a head tag where i am giving title sample program okay so this title does not display as the content of my document but it is displayed in the browser how say this is the web browser okay and this is my content this is my body but here this sample program this title will not be displayed where it will be displayed when you open it in the tab it will be displayed as sample program so this is the work of the title it gives information about your document okay so now i have told you today about html headings and how these headings are important the types of headings where you can use it next i told you about the hr tag with one example and i differentiated head tag from your heading tag and the used of use of head tag i also gave you brief idea about metadata we have also learned about the title tag of html today so now is the time to give you some tips the tip is if you want to view the source page of any web page then what you have to do okay suppose you have opened the web page of flipkart and you want to know the you want to view the source page of that page so what you have to do you have to just right click there and do view page source okay so you can view that in any browser it will open a new window where you can see the html code of the page okay say 
this is Flipkart's website. This is the page. You just do right click. Then one menu will open and from there you select view page source. Then one new window will open where you can see the HTML codes of this page. Like that you can view the source page source of any web page. So that is my tip for today. So we learn today head tag, heading tags, HR tag and the title tag. In my next tutorial, I will tell you one important tag that is our P tag means paragraph tag. If you like our video, Please subscribe our channel and don't forget to watch my next tutorial about paragraph. Thank you.